Right, quick uh, tutorial on the Offers and Vents page on the Mac, on the Mac West restaurant. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this. In fact, I've done it for you on the Valentine's night one. Uh, but I'll show you how I did it. And then going forward, what I'll do is add, um, install and configure the plugin, the same plugin that we've got on the Fox and Hounds. Um, so you can actually follow that. Let's um, just quickly take you through this. Um, this picture is obviously the menu and the, it doesn't look too good. So what I've done is to produce, um, to find a, a better image that we can replace that with. And I'll, I'll talk about this picture in, in a second. Now, in order to do that, to do the image that we want, um, we want, I went onto Google images and got a Valentine's, um, a sort of romantic Valentine's picture. Um, and this is what I, did so we come over here so basically found a picture opened it up in my um in my photo um software and what you'll see is the image size is uh, too big for what we want uh, we want to keep a uniform image size for all of the uh, all of the images on on the website so what we do, I so I went on to into one of the folders that I've got on your account and took a, an up open a picture that we use as a standard size on your on your website. And the standard size for this is eight hundred by five four eight and you'll see that when we come to upload it. What I want to do is to make it that size, the easiest way to do that is to go to the where you've got the image that you've saved from Google Google images and we're going to do a place embed so we go in we then find the image that we got from Google images which is this one which as you'll see is a thousand pixels wide five five eight four high click on that click place and it comes down and it fits onto onto that picture but what we're going to do is put it into this picture so that we actually can size it and keep it the right size so place in bed find the image there it is and it will appear like this so i hold down the shift key on my keyboard keep it hold down and then drag uh the image to fill this to fill the uh, image that's behind it now then when we hit enter we've now got an image the size that we need it for the website there's one more step which we're going to do prior to that and that is to make sure that we save it as an export save for the web this optimizes the image so it keeps the quality but it means the actual file size instead of it being two or three megabytes is a fraction of that um, so let me just save it for the web we can see here i've got it set to very high it's only 197 kb which is about a tenth or just over 15% of a normal one megabyte size. So it's a fraction, which is what we want. And that's and that gives us uh, a better a, a, a better image in terms of for speed of the website. Um, now that we've um, done the image, we go back to our website page where we've got the old JPEG of the menu. And we're just going to click on this. We're then going to upload it. And then before we actually insert it into the place, we're going to drop down the sizes and find the 800 by 548. Click insert and save. And now we've got the image next to the blurb. What we want to do is to make sure that we put in the menu. Um, and I think what works best for that is having a button that shows that. So for instance, we just find the button, we drag the button down here. And we stick it there. Uh, we then click on this, and then we type in. We we'll type into here something along the lines. I would type in click click here to download menu. Okay, so let's do that. Now. Okay, so what I've typed in here, which is will be the button label, click here to download menu. Um, so we we'll save that, and there it is. So we want to put in the 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 link to the actual menu now the menu as i said should be you should do it as a word doc then save that as a pdf and then upload that um, so what you do in effect is once you've done that is you'll go to your media media library let's just save that page 
I don't lose all the edits. Okay. We can then skedaddle across to the media library. And what we'll do is we'll assume for this exercise that this file here is the is the PDF, not a JPEG. But what we'll do is we'll then highlight this. Oops. Highlight this, right click and copy. We we'll then go back to the events page that we're editing. We will then scroll down to the where are we? To the button. We we'll click on the button, and then in here, set manually. I would right click and paste the link. Click save. Click update. And then we can go and view the page to see what we've got so far. Well, there's a couple of things we're going to do there. So we've got the picture, we've got the menu button. If we click the menu button, that opens, which isn't brilliant because you still can't read it. So once it's a word, once it's a PDF, it will be it will be able to be downloaded, printed, and, and read on screen. To show you that, just to show you the difference, we go to menu page here. Click on a menu, and voila, the PDF file opens. I can read it quite easily. I can, if you like, if you like, download it to my computer if I was a visitor to the website, or I could just print it straight to my printer. Okay, that's uh, that's how that would work. Okay, um, back at the Office and Events page. We've got a few things we want to do because that button's too close to the word and we need a little gap there and I want to get rid of this this stuff here, this bank blank space. So go back into edit page <coughs> and find the area we want to look at. So if we have a look at where are we? Now this this thing here, this line here, is a white space creator. So if we click on that and we can see it's white space, we've got it set as white space, we've got it set as a hundred. Um, so we don't want it there. What we want to do is drag. We want to do is drag it so that it's between this text and this button. So we just click on it, keep it clicked, drag it down, stick it between the two. We've now got. So we should have now a space um, between the button and the text, which will make it look a bit neater. A bit easier to, to read. Let's just click on view page, see what we've got. So this gap's now gone on that black line. Um, if we go down the page, we've got the click here to download button. What I've also done, as you will see, is I've just tidied these areas up. Now the way to get this to go onto two lines, so it doesn't show like Thursday, the 8th Thursday, and then the 8th of March, or in this case, um, Thursday, the 5th of April. Uh, and in this top one here, remember we we had here we had Valentine's night, and then it had Wednesday, and then 14th of February underneath. So if we go back into the page, it's just a very simple piece of code that we put in, and I shall show you what it looks like. So we go to Valentine's night, and we've got this code here. So by putting that in, just typing that into that space. And saving, we end up with it over two lines, so it just looks neater. I've done the same for this one, and I've done the same for this one. What I also discovered, as we can see here, um, maybe you spot the deliberate mistake uh, that was done. Let's have a look. So we've got um, a misspelling, a little bit of soul and mo um, um, mot one. So we have mots. Um, so we're obviously just going to correct that. So that it actually says Motown. Oh, I spoke wrong myself. Um, click save. So it now says the right wording. Um, and make sure we save the page, update the page. And that is how we edit the events page as it stands at the moment. Okay. So you're right, if you can't get hold of it, not everybody does a video, unfortunately, but it's about, so these are fine, 
uh, pictures. They, they, they advertise the fact that uh, you've got what it is here, 80s Reloaded Show, Mr. Cool, um, and his folders. And that's really all you can do with those. Um, what you can do, if we go in, I'll just show you a little animation thing you can do. If you're putting in the images as they are, so do the same for this one as well, actually. Click on image, go to animation, you've got pop up. So we've got a pop up there. Let's see what we got here. Animation, pop up, yeah. Now we can do, you can change this to pop up, fade in, rotate, full rotation. Let's try full rotation, see what happens. And then Mr. Cool, we can change his imitation to bottom right rotation. Let's have a bit of fun with it and see what it does. Click on update. And once it's finished uploading, saving, click on uh, view page. That springs up, spins around. There we go. Just makes it a bit more engaging. Um, and that's and that's it really. So what I'll do for um, another time, I'll go in, I'll, I'll get the plugin, sort it out, get it added. Um, what what's going to work best if we do the plugin route is to have the offers and events pages rather like the pub, the Fox and Hounds one as two separate pages, because um, uh, that's how it works best with if you're using the plugin rather than this way. Okay, that's it.